Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you singing bowl cladney patterns. Check this out. So what we're using in this investigation is a Bluetooth cladney plate, a little bit of sand as a medium, a singing bowl, and then another type of singing bowl that has water in it. To begin, let's demonstrate this small singing bowl. A singing bowl works when you roll the mallet around the outside of it, and when you force the bowl to vibrate at its natural frequency, it creates resonance. And if you listen, it gets louder and louder. What would happen if I recorded that resonating frequency and then played it through my cladney plate? What would that cladney image look like? Let's find out. Isn't that amazing? I can feel it vibrating in my hand. Now listen how loud it is. Remember that Ernst Cladney was a German physicist and musician, and in the 1700s, he did experiments with vibration, and he discovered that if you use a flat metal plate and you put dried rice or sand on it, when he'd rub his violin bow vertically against the plate, the plate would vibrate, and patterns would form along nodal and non-nodal lines that he called cladney patterns. And what he realized was every resonating frequency created a different symmetrical image. And so what we did is we recorded our singing bowl over here, and we are gonna play it through our Bluetooth cladney plate. And we're gonna look at the image that that tone creates. So I'm gonna put a little bit of sand on the cladney plate, and we're gonna see this sand vibrate to the sound of our singing bowl. So let's see what happens. You ready? symmetrical image created by our singing bowl. I can see a circle in the middle, I can see a perfect square in the center, hemispheres on each end, just amazing. The image that was created at that resonating frequency. Here's a video I made a few years ago using a tone generator app on my cell phone so you can control the frequency and the amplitude that create different cladney patterns on the plate, each having a completely different symmetrical pattern that they create. This next singing bowl, there's actually water in it. I'm gonna get my hands wet so when I rub the handles of the bowl, that friction will cause the bowl to vibrate at its natural frequency, making so much resonance that the water starts to vibrate and actually splashes out of the bowl. Let's see if I can get it to hit that resonating frequency. You see the water? Look at it splash. If you remember on November 7th in 1940, the Tacoma Bridge started to rock back and forth as wind blew through the hollow trusses like air through a flute, the entire bridge reached its resonating frequency and began to vibrate so much that it rocked back and forth like a wave in the air. And eventually, after vibrating so much for over an hour, the bridge finally collapsed. Fortunately, no one was injured in this amazing collapse, but civil engineers to this day are careful so their trusses are not completely hollow to avoid wind 
whistling through the trusses of future bridges. Here's an image of the entire bridge collapsing at 11.10 a.m. Absolutely catastrophic. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like and subscribe.